will be. Hello, everybody! Welcome to Friday Night Shoutouts! Yeah, we're late. Anyway, let's get started. We have a lot to do tonight. Yeah. Okay. ASMR T Sky. Welcome to the neighborhood with your new channel. I don't remember what her old channel was, but this is her new channel. Go by and check her out. Jason the YouTuber, shout out to you. Lexis Moore, welcome to the neighborhood. I've been replaced. I'm working on it. <laughs> Ah, uh, Andy Kelly, welcome to the neighborhood. He's over from Nikki and John. Uh, ba -ba -ba. DJ said so, welcome to the neighborhood. Life in a northern town. Welcome to the neighborhood under your new name. Frugal Homesteading, welcome to the neighborhood. Chelsea Lyons, welcome to the neighborhood. Amanda Nichols, welcome back, girl. We sure did miss ya. And Glitter in the Sky, welcome back. We missed you, too. I hear you went to a haunted place. Let us know what happened. Yeah. We got some birthday wishes. Wendy, Tresemme 1, happy birthday to you. Kawaii Kitty, happy birthday to you too. Bonarchy 7, happy birthday to you too. My Uploaded Life Jonah, happy birthday to you too. Let's see. Uh, did I get all the happy birthdays? I think I got all the happy birthdays. I sure did. Now it's time for thoughts and prayers. And y'all know who I'm going to start off with. Thoughts and prayers go out to the lone wolf, my dad, Fred. Yep, as y'all know, he took a turn for the worse this week, and I'll be heading out to North Carolina. Not exactly sure when, but we'll keep you guys updated. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to Elijah Mainville, Drax Shadow, One Pro or uh, Mom's Vlog 80. Uh, he's going to be heading up to Seattle for some uh, new treatment. So, thoughts and prayers go out to him. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to the people of the Alberta fires. Some of them are allowed back into their homes. Um, still not sure what they are finding when they are going back there, but thoughts and prayers go out to them. Thoughts and prayers go out to Terry Johnson. Her dog Chrissy is um, having a lot of medical issues. Chrissy is old and... Um, they're afraid that uh, she's not going to be around much longer. Um, Lisa Steinerman, thoughts and prayers go out to her and her family for the loss of her grandfather. Hey, I'm talking. That's right. Talk, talk. <laughs> Um, thoughts and prayers go out to Maria Cisnero-Toth um, for the loss of her little baby, her little fur baby Sally. She will be greatly missed. Uh, thoughts and prayers for Vincent Gutierrez for the loss of his grandma on Saturday morning to cancer. Uh, Betsy Wetsy, thoughts and prayers go out to her. She says this is her year for getting back, getting back on track and getting back the person she once was. So good luck to you for that and thoughts and prayers go out to you for that. And of course thoughts and prayers go out to April and Haley, One Proud Mama 77 and I do have a little message here from them. Um, first dip in the pool. It's Haley swimming in the pool. 
keeping positive vibes as much as we can over here till her surgery. If you want to share this on camera, you can, and Kevin and Val, but you don't have to, of course. We love you both. Oodles, loving the weather here. Good old, in good old Indiana. So I'll bring this up close so you guys can see Haley swimming in the pool. There's Haley from One Proud Mama swimming in the pool before her surgery is scheduled. Now, for my question from last week was, do you like rainy days, snowy wintry days, warm sunny days, hot blistering days, and why? We had no one say hot blistering days. I wonder why. Hmm. Okay, I picked five people and I'm going to tell you what they said. Pete Price, sunny days when they get them in the UK, which isn't very often. <laughs> Sylvia Phillips, warm sunny days. She hates the winter. She lives in the in New York in the heart of Snow Town. Yeah. Life in a northern town, snowy days, because she loves to be warm and cozy. Angie on YouTube, warm days, because it's good to do things outside on nice warm days. Terry Johnson. She pointed out that I didn't pick a day, pick a time of year. And it just so happened that it was my favorite time of year that I didn't pick. Fall days, temperatures are perfect, colorful trees and leaves, and best time of year for Halloween and, and autumn and all of that fun stuff. But she couldn't pick that because I didn't give her that option, so she chose warm, sunny days only because she couldn't pick fall. Okay, so my question for tonight is brought to you by Terry Johnson. What was your favorite summer vacation? Where did you go? And what made it so special? There you have it, guys, your question from me. We have decided that we are going to take away the credit roll. Because there's so many names on that credit roll from people from when we first started out that we don't even know if they are community members anymore or not. So we are going to start fresh with the credit roll. That's right. We are going to start all over. So you have to earn your place on the credit roll again. Oh. That's right. Thor just earned his place by whining. No, you don't get on there from whining. Are you hungry? You get on there from tipping your head like that. Anyway, so the credit roll is going to... It's not going to be there today, but it, it will be It back. is going to be there today. It's going to have me and you and Megan and all of our animals. Okay, it's going to go... That's right. And the way to get your name on the credit roll is to be an active, participating member of the neighborhood community. You just hit me in the head. An active, participating member of the community. That is how you get on the credit roll. That's right. So you will not see the credit roll, your name on the credit roll tonight. So if you don't see your name, don't say, why'd you take me off? I'm always watching. Da, 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 da. That's why we take everybody off. You gotta re-earn your place. Starting tomorrow. Starting next week. Starting next week. So, Kevin, it's time for your trivia question. Okay, so last week we talked about what happened to it? You didn't have your book last week. Uh, yeah, we, we, last week we talked about the um, House on Haunted Hill, which was a whole thing this this past week. And the question was, there there was two different uh, gimmicks in this movie from uh, William Castle, who was the king of gimmicks. And one of them was called Emergo, which is at the right point at the end of the movie when the skeleton comes out. Uh, a big plastic skeleton comes out of a box and flies across the studio. 
And that didn't last for more than a week because so when the kids realized it was going to be there, they, they uh, brought their uh, rocks and stuff to throw at it. The other one was a, a jump scare that was at the very beginning of the movie. And if you've watched the movie, the, the beginning seems a little weird but it would have been interesting in the theater because it would have been pitch black in the theater and then a the face would just pop up and big piano chord. So it was a jump scare at the beginning. So those who got it correct was Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Tanya Longley. Woohoo! Okay, and tonight's question has to do with another one of my favorite haunted house movies, Legend of Hell House 1973. And the question is, uh, the house is, put, is called the Belasco House, which was owned by Emmerich Belasco. Who, who is his character based on? He's actually based on somebody. There you have it, guys. Your questions for this evening. And you are all part of the neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there, whether you're on the list or not. We love you all so very, very much. Goodbye.